that was a nice start. That was hammered. Go a bit, oh no. Whoa, that sucks. What's up everybody and welcome back to another David Max of Golf video where this week it is the PGA Tour Championship down at Valhalla Golf Club and I'm super excited to jump into this series of videos this week because we have four rounds coming at you from Valhalla Golf Club on TGC 2019 here in the 24-7 Golf Simulator with the Skytrack Plus. It is going to be awesome. I'm going to see what I would shoot on a PGA Tour course. Now there are some caveats because I can only really hit up to a five iron with a full swing in here. So I'm gonna go from the white tees, obviously they're gonna be hitting driver anyway, giving myself a bit of a fair advantage. So I'm just gonna use that as my handicap system. I'm hitting from the white, so I would hit from the championship tees and see what I can shoot here on a simulator. So let's get into it and let's get started. So we're gonna create a match here. Uh, we're gonna go from the white tees and we are going to begin a round. So the way this is gonna work is we're gonna have four different tees on four different days. Obviously this is a day one tee, then we're gonna have the day two, three, four, and so on. But let's get into it. Let's get a five iron in hand. Hopefully we can hit one around the tree. It's probably not a five iron actually. It's probably more like a seven iron. So a little short one to start with, but kind of looks a little bit short and nasty if you ask me. Seven iron in hand. Oh, that was a nice start. Yeah, that felt really good. Okay, so 175 carry, rolling out and rolling down the hill, 189. Now, full disclosure on this, I have had a practice round where I shot 12 over par. Hmm, not good, but at least I've had a practice round so I can see the course and get to know it a little bit. I did find out that the ball flies a little bit further. I also found out that the putting is extremely hard. So. We're going to try and work with those things and better them. I now have 83 meters to the pin. And that was nice also. Oh, go a bit. Sit. So much spin. Okay, okay. Well, we're gonna need to, uh, to chip well. Look at that. What do you do with that? You've got five meters and you don't want to go back into it. You're going to have to just bunt it up to the right side there. That should be pretty good, actually. Oh, you didn't. Mmm. Oh, that should be good. That could be in. Oh. Little nipper. It's a bogey. So, two good shots and... Just one chip that was still good, but not good enough, and we're bogey. Nice. Nice little fade. Hit the fairways, that's what we want. We want fairways and greens. They're hard fairways, they're PGA Tour Championships, so they're gonna run a long way, which kind of suits me, because it gives me that extra little bit of distance using a five iron. 164, two meters uphill. See, they're a really good eight iron, which is gonna take everything. Smooth seven, I'm gonna try and go the really good eight. That was hammered. That should be good. That is on line. Go a bit, oh no! Whoa, that sucks. Okay, I hit that as good as I could and I still didn't get it there. Nine meters from a plugged lie. Well, that's all we can do. That could be good. Mm, it was good, but not good enough. We've got a bogey. Oh, that was beautiful. That felt so nice. Ah. This is what happened in the practice round. See how far that's gone. I never ever hit a 52 that far. Like a 52 is my 96 to 105 club when I'm absolutely smoking it. 
And here that one's gone like 116 carry or something like that, which is not good. And then I've got these really massively long putts. So I think, I think there's elevation here that we just can't see, but the putting on TTC, I mean, I have to be honest, I think it's not very good because it doesn't show you any line. Like this is the only thing that I can see or that. And like, you, you just can't see enough. It's looking like it's going right to left quite hard, but then it tells me it goes left to right. I've just got no idea where I can put that cursor or where I'm even trying to aim. So from these longer putts, it might sound like I'm having a bit of a whinge and I am, but where am I supposed to putt? Like give me some kind of a line because I can't see, feel, taste, like the green, I can't look from, you know, all these other different angles. I mean, you can use a cue and, and that's kind of it. So it's all a bit of a guess. Yeah. And see, this is what happens. Like that's just, that's ridiculous. And unfortunately, this is where it gets really hard on the simulator. A lot of guys say, oh, the simulator golf is way easier. And, you know, maybe you don't get the wind and all that sort of stuff. But if you're actually doing it properly and you're trying to putt like this, uh, it's, it's not easier. It's, it's very difficult because there's no way that I'd be smashing it this far past on a course. Seven centimeters, seven meters. And even that, like that's coming back up the hill and look how far it's rolled past. So, and not every green is like that. I get it. You could say, oh, well, the greens are fast and you need to not hit it as hard. But when you get into other greens, you'll see as we go along, they're not all that fast. So it's not consistent. <laughs> Should be good. That was the plan. Nice. So 99 meters, I'm obviously not going to hit the 52 anymore because of how far it went last time. So I'm just going to go to the 58. But I'm trying to hit it too hard. Like, that could be good. That bounces forward a little. Yeah, I mean, that's good. But I don't, I would never ever grab a 58 for anything over 85 meters in real life. So this elevation must be just playing a little bit higher than normal again like look at it I'm, I'm looking at right to left and then left to right then into grain and then I've got hills and slopes and I've got no idea where I'm trying to aim 20 centimeters uphill so that's steep was hit. That was nice. Get out of the rough. No! 87, three meters uphill. So this is 90. So this is really my full, full 58. Oh. Well, that's probably because it's coming out of the rough, but let's go. Bunker time. That was good. That should be perfect. That's it. Four meters, one centimeter downhill. It's happening. That should be perfect. It's straight on the line that I hit. I'm three over par from putting alone. So other than that, I'm actually playing really good, but this is the, this is the trouble, this is the dramas that I've been having. Four over par in total, three of those shots was what I meant, is from the putter. Yeah, good choice in the end. Again, it went further than I would have expected, but we probably got about a 180 shot in, 160 shot into the green. Yeah, 184, okay. That was hit. 
pulled. Mm. Another bunker. Wasn't that bad though, 185, you know, green side's not terrible. Just got to get it to spin out of the bunker. How do you do that? That should be, if that doesn't spin, there's something wrong. What? Get in, get in. Yes! That's how you get a par. You just avoid putting completely and just chip. Good start. Middle it, obviously, but it's a good start. 191. I don't really have the chance of the downside and the disadvantage without having to be able to hit woods in here is I don't really. Yeah. I don't, I don't really have the chance to actually hit any of these par fives and two, but I can at least run it up close, hopefully. I mean, that was hit. It needs to turn over though. What? It didn't go there. Right, here we go, 12 meters, right to left. Right, four meters, eight centimeters downhill. I'm just gonna tap this one. Alright, so to say I'm getting a little bit hot under the collar is an understatement. I know that this is only simulated golf, but I take it seriously still and uh, I try not to, but sometimes I get frustrated and this is definitely one of those times. I feel like I'm playing well, but the putting and the chipping is just really getting to me. That felt nice. Sit, sit, okay, sit. All right, we're on the green. You can't, yeah, I'll give up. <laughs> I give up on the parting. To par at least five over. We're getting hammered. We're getting hammered. We need some birdies. Like that. We'll sit. 101, seven meters uphill, so that'll be a 48 degree again. Let's go. Go. Sit. Yes, that's what we need. Is that in there? Is that in there? Is that a birdie? No, of course you couldn't give it to me. That's gotta be good. Oh my gosh. That's terrible. I think this is a par five as well. That was hammered. That's the nice drawer I'm looking for. Oh, what? 
my gosh. That should be nice. Like you bounce it into the bank, how does it roll on that far? It's a bogey. Be the number. Be the number. Now sit. Like, look at how are you even supposed to re. I'm going to whinge about this for a long time, but I don't understand how in the world you're supposed to read a putt like this. Like you can't see the green. You can push this Q button and it will show you the top, but it just shows you flat. Like it just shows you which way the grain and, and whatever or the slope is slowly going. And, and how are you supposed to gauge well, how far left do I need to move the cursor or right or like, you just, you can't tell. But that was a good part. Oh, this is another one. It's just a 140 shot again. Where's that iron? It's just a... One fifty five, four meters downhill. I'm going to go the nine again. Just hammer one in there. Okay, that's a good shot. But See how that goes. And then like it just doesn't stop. Stop. Hundred and eighty meter par four. I need to get this on the green because I need to take advantage of this, for sure. That was nice. Be on the green. Be on the green, that's looking good. Oh, be really good. Give me an eagle chance. Yes. I can three part that for par. Come back. Better come back. We need an eagle, 16 centimeters downhill. It's going right to left. Again, not really any idea what's going on with it, but we'll see. Well, it's a tap-in birdie, so I will take that. That is okay. That's okay, we got a bird. We should be happy about that. Let's get up, let's get up and about. We got a bird, we're now five over par. We need to get back. We need to have a very strong back nine. Get us back into contention. You know, one, two over par, that would be awesome. 104 meter hole. Three meters uphill the way I've been hitting this 52. I'm just gonna hit that. That was nice. Be the ball. Spin, spin. How does that not spin? Oh. 
that wasn't a good six iron. Worked out alright, but I didn't, didn't flush it. Hundred and seventeen meters. That is a perfect, perfect forty-eight degree wedge. Come on, bad boy. Let's get us close. That should be good. That should be really good. Okay. Well, we've got a putt for birdie again. So we're playing some good golf now, but we've got, got to get this putting sorted. It's costing me so many shots. Like, that's moving hard right to left now. I mean, I'm guessing, but let's go. That should be perfect. Like, that was such a nice putt. Can't do much more. That's nice. Nice looking shot. Oh, that was nice. Oh, it's telling me I pulled it. What? Okay. Okay. Get in the hole. Get in the hole. Oh! Stop! Oh, there's no way. That should be nice. Yes. Solid. All right, well done. Good putt. Okay, so that'll keep you at five over. All right, we're currently even on the back nine, which is good. I'm enjoying that. We have two holes to go. We need to get a couple birdies. Liking that one. Bounce left. Should, yep. 73, one meter uphill, I've got a 58. Smooth spinner. That was so nice. That's gotta be spinning thousands. What? Just be like somewhere close. Stop. Okay. Oh, it gave it to me. Cool. Five over. We got one more hole to go. Oh my gosh! Now that was a swing. No, it wasn't. That was the worst five iron I've ever hit in my life. 140 meters of carry. When you need a good t-shirt. <clears throat> well, that didn't work out as planned, but it's not so bad. That pin is brutal. Right, 21 meters. Cricket pitch. That was good. That was really good. This to get four over, which would be respectable from the way that we started, so let's go. I back myself probably nine out of ten times to get those kind of parts, but you know what? It is what it is. And what we ended up with is... Five over par, so five over par, 76, first day, PGA Tour Championship. You know what, it's not great, but we're not out of it. We need to have a serious 
round tomorrow. So tomorrow's round has to be under par. You would assume by a lot. I'm guessing maybe five under par to get back to even. That would maybe get close to a cut line, maybe not. We'll have to see how it goes. But thanks guys for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, like this video, throw anything in the comments that you'd like to see. I'll get back to every single comment in the comments section. But check out TGC 2019. Check out 24-7 Golf and the indoor golf sims that they have available. And I'll see you guys tomorrow night. Cheers.